This segment brought to you in association with Burger King. Okay, time for sports now. And we say good evening to Mark Seal. Mark, I am glad that Pakistan beat England. <laughs> Why is that shared? You, you're, you're back, are you back in Pakistan or are you anti-England? Not an England fan. Not an England fan. Hey. Respect. <laughs> Tournament Favorites England received an early warning today that winning is never a given. The ICC World Cup 2019 hosts lost today to Pakistan in a high-scoring second-round game at Trent Bridge. After being sent into bat, Pakistan made a challenging 348 for 8 off their 50 overs. Mohamed Hafiz top scored with 84, Babar Azam got 63 and Safraz Ahmed 55. Moin Ali took 3 for 50, Chris Wokes 3 for 71, while Joe for Archer went wicketless for 79 off his 10 overs. Now, England looked as if they would get over the mark when Joe Root with 107 and Josh Butler with 103 put on 130 for the fifth wicket. However, Weab Reyes struck twice in two balls and ended with 3 for 82 to lead Pakistan to the 14-run victory as England were 334 for 9 at the end of their 50. Well, both England and Pakistan now have one-on-one -on -one records. Tomorrow, it'll be two teams who are looking for their first victories, Sri Lanka against Afghanistan. It'll be live on MCTV's channel 308 from 5.30 a.m. Switching now to football, where BDF Sports Program will have to go through rivals Wymouth Wales if they're to complete the BFA double for 2019. After pipping the Wales for the league crown in their best of three final series recently, BDF SP will now have to play Wales again, this time in the final of the Champions Cup, after they were both big winners in the semi-finals last night at the Wildey Turf. Wales not six past Britain's Hill, while the Soldiers put seven past Ellerton. First semi-final between Wales in green and Britain's Hill. Wales opened the scoring in the 20th minute when Ramar Miller rose above all jumpers to head past a shifted keeper. Britain's Hill would even the score just seven minutes later when the right winger was pushed to the ground in the area. Vitiga Samuel would take the penalty successfully to make it one all. Wales regained the lead in the 32nd minute when Sakil Boyce let loose a right boot blast past the diving custodian. 2-1 to Wales at halftime. A series of defensive blunders would allow Wales a two-goal advantage two minutes after resumption. Anton Graves with the finish and it's 3-1. Now one bad turn clearly deserves another. Wales defenders returning the favour and Carl Joseph netted for Britain's Hill in the 52nd. It's now 3-2. But from there it was one-way traffic, all going to Weymouth. A penalty in the 61st by Mario Harewood. Then in the 73rd, some lovely strung together passes give Graves his second. It's now 5-1. And finally, in the 82nd, Harewood also completed a brace as Wales won the game 6-1 over Britain's Hill. Second semi-final, and BDF Sports Program wasted no time in getting on the score sheet in the very first minute. They did need some help via an own goal, but Anson Barrow didn't mind as he was credited with the score. Ellerton though would strike back and take the lead. First, through a penalty in the sixth minute, which equaled the score through Shaquille Bell. Then, they went up 2-1 in the 27th, when Rashawn Gittings got behind the defense for an easy tapping. The soldiers would, however, even the score just before the break, when Omani Leacock got between three defenders and still managed to score past the keeper. More one-way traffic, though, after the interval, and this time, everything was heading to Paragon. 54th minute, Rashawn Kelman with a perfectly taken free kick over the wall and into the net. 74th, Jelani Kieser finished a play that made Ellerton look as if they had given up. 77th, Antonio Arthur with a solo effort, his left booter too good for the goalie. 80th, Leacock gets his second, just a jab at point blank range. And in the 90th, Salt in the gaping wound. The Mario Ward scores off the deflection. To make the final score, BDF 7, Ellerton 2.
Sasuke gearing up to be king of the world once more? Well, he's putting in the work beforehand, I can tell you. Former undisputed world draft champion Ronald Suki King is in the lead after day one of the Scottish Open in Kirkwall. King is on eight points. That's one ahead of Ken Lovell of Great Britain, followed by Shea McCosker of Ireland on six. Another Barbadian, Desmond Mon, is tied in sixth position on four points. Now, this tournament is important to Suki as he continues to prepare for his world title match against champion Sergio Scarpetta of Italy later this year. That would be for the three-move restriction title, and it'll be played right here in Barbados. In basketball, the Golden State Warriors have taken away home court advantage from the Toronto Raptors after beating them in Game 2 last night to level their NBA Finals Best of 7 series at 1-all.